Omni Bros Live. I'm Omni Dog, one of your co hosts from Omni Dog's Vault. To my this side is special guest T Bone, Tyler Blunt. And Good evening. Special glass from John Wick or something. Is that right? John Wick 3 Continental. Good evening. How Good are you? Good evening. Guys? Thanks for joining us, T Bone. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I only had to grease both of your pockets with a lot of dough. And we're going to leave that one alone. <laughs> uh, and right below us, from a geek and weekdom. Yeah. Geo. A geek and weekdom. Geo, how's it going, buddy? Hi, everybody. I mean, uh, I'm doing great, and I'm so happy that Tyler's here, but I, I hate how my camera looks right now. I'm being uh, I'm being a, a, a diva, but it looks horrible. You're being a diva. Why? What's wrong with it? I think it looks because great. I fixed it for a video I did, but now I'm trying to open the settings and it won't let me. And I look like I'm sunburnt right over this area, and it sucks. Huh. I, I, I probably no one would have noticed it if you hadn't <laughs> just drawn our attention to it. Yeah. Gio's still the most beautiful man in the room. Everybody knows it, okay? Oh, Everybody you. knows it. That's not true. You all, we're all beautiful. Uh, one thing that's beautiful, of course, is our sponsor, FabulousInStockTrades.com, where you can get your collected editions mm -hmm. up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add another 2% to that. Every quarter, there's an Omni Bros Live giveaway. No, there's not. There's an Omni Bros Live discount code. At the end of every month is when there's the IST gift card giveaway. That's what I got it mixed up with. <laughs> and, of course, if you order $50 or more worth of books in the United States, you get free shipping with that. Fabulous customer service. Fabulous packaging. That's InStockTrades.com. Man, you really brought that home at the end, and it was beautiful. Thank you, buddy. I absolutely loved it. Got to adjust my... Uh, uh, Who? Of course, we better put this one right up. Oh, yeah. Look, of Who lets Jess control the comments? Unbelievable. <laughs> this is what happened. Uh, well, here's one for you. Thanks, John. You're the best. That's why I love you. Yeah. We're homies. That's right. Sure. Something like that. <laughs> Taylor Geo. Brown, are we finally going to learn how to display collectibles? Ha, 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 ha. Last time we didn't. That was the, the worst red laugh I have ever heard in my life. Well, he had an extra ha in there that threw me. There was four <laughs> ha's. Uh, oh, that yeah. was great. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, tonight we're talking about collectibles. And yeah. collectibles can be anything, but this is mostly a comic book-related crowd. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ultra portable with my laptop and, and go around the various places in um, my back cave to show how to display them and how not to display them certain things because I've got a lot of I've got a lot of good display things and I've got a lot of things that are dis displayed poorly mm. I'll show you do's and don'ts of certain displays um, I've and uh, so I would imagine we want to sort of keep it comic book related since we're a comic book show okay well i had a bunch of football cards but it's fine they were all just dak prescott so whatever dak dak prescott. Prescott idea. Okay, let's see him no it's too late i feel embarrassed about it now you've really made me feel uncomfortable show me a, one of them yes show me one dak no, prescott card. maybe in the net maybe on the football stream jess okay maybe see, on the football you stream. don't you don't even have one dak prescott no, card. you don't know you're not my dad you don't know <laughs> I'm old enough I could be your father, young man, and I demand that you show me a okay, Dak Prescott go card. Sorry, I feel bad. I feel bad. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. And I want to talk a little bit about some collectibles, too, about how to pose them, how not to pose them, and how to really just get the most out of every action figure. 
All right. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, Geo, we lost you. No, no, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Don't worry. I'm messing around with the camera. Oh, oh, okay. I kind of like the black and white. The black and white, and the black and white cool. was it was very noir feeling. Like, yeah, do yeah. black and white again. You don't look sunburned right now. I fixed it. I fixed you it. Fixed oh, you fixed it. did. Yeah. Awesome. One day we'll do a noir Opni Bros, and we can all be black and white. Yeah. How do you do that? You got to go into your camera settings. Uh, I have an, an external camera. Oh, I don't. I just have my built-in Mac camera. You got to say, Jesse Say What says, go Rockets. Totally agree. And uh, a shout out to Taylor Love Brown, it. who knows I got a Dr. Pepper Tower in my closet, but it's uh, reserved only for me and close family members who have submitted the blood, sacrificed to get in. <laughs> and I also got a compliment on the space I have in this room. Thank you. It is fantastic. and looks very spacious. It is the it is a dream office of mine to work in every day slash play in, and it is filled with books, toys, and excessive TVs and monitors. Every boy's dream. Perfect. Uh, and here is the number one rule. Yeah, Nathaniel has it correct. Just display rule number one: <laughs> keep the sexy women statues downstairs so the wife doesn't see. She has <laughs> come downstairs occasionally and has noticed that the ratio of women to men stash, uh, <laughs> statues is approximately 100 to zero. So she has noticed that. Oh, okay. that's rough. I do. Well, I do have one man male statue, and that is a really cool John Constantine statue. So that's, he is pretty cool. Yeah. I do have male action figures, but statues, no. There's a... Mm. Uh, they're forbidden, except for John Constantine. I I have not started getting. Uh, someone wants to know: Have I started getting the Ninja Turtle two pack figures? Mm. Um, I'm honestly not sure what Ninja Turtle two pack figures you're talking about. Are you talking about the uh, original figures that are being re released, or are there new Turtles two pack figures that I'm I'm not aware of? I think he might be referring to the movie for the animated movie. They're doing two packs. Oh, those. No, I have yet to see those in any stores actually around me. Those are great figures, and I'm absolutely planning on picking them up, though. They're amazing. I love that film. Oh, I man, the compliments are just pouring in. It was so good. Jess, I was watching some older vids today. You look so thin. Way to go. Nick Schmidt, if I had any money to give away, I'd give it to you. <laughs> but I don't. But I appreciate the compliment. Thank you, buddy. What a compliment. And and for you guys at home, at the end uh, of the show, NECA oh, ones. the NECA ones. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't, you know, I don't even know what the NECA ones look like. I thought you were talking about the figures. Aren't there some figures coming out from the uh, Ninja Turtles versus Batman? Mm -hmm. that, that's well, the one I thought he was talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about. I haven't even seen the NECA ones. I'm going to have to look into that after this. Thank you for the heads up, man. Um. As I was saying, as a special uh, end gift on this show, Jess is going to teach you how he's able to spend so much money and not get in trouble with his wife. <laughs> he's going to give you all the secrets to doing that. At the end, he's going to teach you about the Han protocol. He's going <laughs> to teach you about all kinds of tips and tricks to fill your man cave without getting in trouble from your significant other. Speaking of spending money... I just got this guy in. Ooh. Ooh. Great figure. Nice. Yeah, he comes with two heads, mm -hmm. two extra heads. And I haven't been able to find him anywhere, so I ordered him from Entertainment Earth, 20 bucks. Nice. so I figured that was good. And a uh, 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 Wendigo. Nice Wendigo. Um, Build a figure. Build a figure. I'm trying to see what that is. That's his left arm. So you may be seeing that left arm on eBay at some point for five bucks. <laughs> hey, that's a good investment. You buy the full set and you get a couple bucks back. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty psyched to have Nightcrawler because we can show you 
where he's going to go. Have the Sasquatch? Uh, sorry? Figure? Have Sasquatch? I'm sorry? Do you have Sasquatch? I don't. The, uh, the Bill of Figaro. Are you asking me if I have Sasquatch? Yeah. I do I do not. Okay. Neither no, do no, I. I. I was wondering because a lot of people like to pose them together like a monster shelf. Wendigo and Sasquatch? Yeah, and the man thing, build a figure, and uh, there's another one I'm miss I'm forgetting. No, Typically man thing is a build a figure I would dig. Mm, yeah, he looks pretty good. I don't think I was into any of the action figures that came with Man Thing parts. They were all uh, Marvel Knights and the Netflix stuff. Right. I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't into those. I'm mostly. Uh, I I had a full Marvel Legends collection up until about a year and a half ago, and I kind of stopped getting them. And uh, and those were the only figures that I passed on at the time. Were the the live action figures, like the movie figures or right. the Netflix MCU mm -hmm. figures, because I was mostly just a, a comic book collector. And also, Fenner, I looked up those turtle NECA figures. Those are really cool. They're the original turtles, like the original 80s turtles uh, in NECA form. I'm probably going to pass on them because I have the SH Figure Arts turtles of the original design, and I think those are just by far the absolute best. I'm a huge Figure Arts fan. I'll get into that in just a little bit. But I'm a huge figure arts fan. They're my favorite line. They're the only line that I actually still collect. And uh, and so I'll probably pass on those NECA turtles, but they look fantastic. Here's where Nightcrawler's going to go. I need... This is my... Let's see if I can do this justice. This is my um, X-Men paperback shelf. Nice. Uh... If I can do it without making everybody sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at that 90s Rogue, 90s yeah. Cyclops, 90s Psylocke. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Mm hmm. So beautiful. So he's going to go in there somewhere because I need to move Magneto out. Yeah. Are you going to get the uh, three-pack Magneto that comes with... Uh... Oh, his kids? Yeah, that looks pretty badass. That does look awesome. That does look cool. Um, I'm trying to... What am I seeing there? Oh, I'm seeing books. That's what I'm seeing right there. <laughs> yeah, oh, this mirroring thing. That's what it is. It's weirding me out. I'm like, <laughs> it's what? Hard what? To, yeah, it's, it gets confusing. Okay, Magneto's down, right, down, down the there, but he's... Up to, okay, so the first lesson here is, to me, this is a reasonable way to space out your figures. Mm -hmm. If one goes down, it's not going to take the rest of them with them. Mm -hmm. As opposed to this shelf here, which is poorly laid out, my Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. One goes down from behind yeah. or in front or tips over to the right. They all go down. And trust me, that little arrow there on Yondu has caught my shirt mm. so many times. Mm. <laughs> I've repositioned it so many times and they all come tumbling down and Reed Richards is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> There's no real good way to pose him. You'd think they'd be spaced out. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, but Reed goes off balance so many times on his own. It's yeah. like he's possessed. You know, you bring up an interesting point on display because yes. really the two ways to display your figures, I feel like, are the, is the first way if you put them in front of books, like you've done. Right. And that looks fantastic for any omnibus or hardcover collector because they look great in front of books, especially books that they relate to. So if you've got your X-Men omnibus shelf, you put your X-Men figures in front of them. Very cool. The other way to display them is if you – and sometimes this is just a function of quantity – but if you have a lot of action figures, sometimes you give your action figures their own shelf. And with that can cause a major headache and problems. When I was in my old house, before I moved into this house, 
I had an action figure closet, two shelves off of Amazon that were amazing. The shelves were easily put together. Um, one of them is in this closet right there right now, but I don't think even if I opened it, you could see it, but it, um, their wood base. Well, I mean, particle board base and their iron, they were easy to put together and adjustable shelves. Believe the, the entire cost was maybe 30 or $40, but it was probably, um, I'm guessing about six feet in width by four feet in depth. And it had five shelves which was perfect because mm -hmm. it fit in my closet. I didn't have a lot of space, but the issue became when I set up my figures, which easily filled all the shelves. I had two of those. Um, I had roughly, I'm guessing 40 figures wide by 20 figures deep oh. full on the shelf. And I learned a lot about <laughs> how to display your figures and how not to display your figures yeah. because if one figure fell over, it was a chain reaction. And I can't tell you the number of times my wife came in thinking that I had genuinely hurt myself because I was <laughs> yelling at the top of my lungs because I knocked, I had, I was setting all the figures back up and like one would fall over and it would just cause this chain reaction. It was, it was a nightmare. So you kind of got uh, a few options when you're talking about displaying your figures on a big shelf like that. The first thing you got to do is make sure you have a very flat surface. If your surface is uneven or if you've got some bumps, you're looking, you're looking at a hard time because mm. it's going to be hard to keep your figures up. But there are a few options. One of them is Marvel Legends put out um, with some of their figures uh, around 2013 or 14 when the first Avengers movie wave came out. They put out every figure came with a base stand. And those base stands were about half an inch tall and they all interlinked. And you can find those base stands on eBay. And I would bet, I haven't checked into this in a while, but there used to be knockoff versions you could get that were very cheap. And they had two peg holes in each of the stands mm. for each foot on the figure. Mm -hmm. So when you're displaying your figure on shelves, it made a lot of sense to put the figures on those displays where the, their feet were anchored in so they could lean, but they wouldn't fall. So that's one option. Your second option is there are flight stands from Tamashi Nations. Mm -hmm. They're excellent. 12 to $15 for three flight stands. Now they're not made for Marvel Legends. So your bigger Build-A-Figures, your Man Things, your um, Sentinels, your any figure that's bigger than um, even some of the bulkier figures like Thor is not going to work, but yep. your figures like Storm, Jean Grey, um, Scarlet Witch, even Spider Doctor Man. Strange, Spider-Man, any of those figures, are it's going to hold up and it's going to hold really well. And what's great about it is it lifts them off the, the, um, the floor by about four inches or so, which serves two purposes. One, because you can put them in, in cool displays, like cool positioning because that's always fun. And then mm -hmm. two, it frees up space for figures to sit on the stand or in front of the stand and then have that figure hovering up. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of your second option. So the first option is um, just a flat piece of surface where you're just really careful about lining them up. Your second option is your stand. I'm sorry, so that'd be your third option. Your, your second option would be like one of those Marvel Legends knockoff stands. And then your third is a Tamashi Nations flight stand. Now, all what if just... I told you there was a fourth option, what? Tyler? What is it? Tell me. All right, we're gonna show go me. out. I'm gonna show you right I'm so now. I'm excited right now. <laughs> Drum roll, please. We're gonna go out to, and I'm gonna show you one of those uh, flight stands, or what did you call them? The uh, yeah, those Tamashi mm -hmm. Nation flight stands. Tamashi Nation things. Yeah, I'm gonna show you one of those in action. Let's with oh, some Spider Men's. So oh, I'm excited. Oh boy. Okay, let's see cool. if I can do this properly. This is a glass display case. Very cool. Yes. Why is it? <laughs> okay. So right here, you can see Golden yep. Age Heroes <laughs> mm -hmm. from DC in a lit display case. Which is awesome. And it looks like, uh, mm -hmm. who is that that's fallen forward a little bit? That's Wildcat. But if I opened it, whoops, I just bumped it. 
<laughs> if I opened it, you'll see he stays right where he is. Ooh. And I'm going to show you the secret to that in just a second. Oh, boy. Because then we'll go down to the second level. My, my display cases are where my pops go to die. So here's some <laughs> Batman pops with some Batman issues. Very cool. And then here's Silver Surfer and Ghost Rider. Mm. And then down here, I don't know. I can't tell if you can oh, see Oh, yeah. Look at those stands. Yeah, we can those see Those are it. great. Nice. Very cool. Those are the flight stands, right? Do you have a good picture of it? Yeah, mm -hmm. they look. it looks great. Okay, here's the fourth option oh that's boy. holding these guys in place in the glass case. This was courtesy of my wife. It's called Stick'em oh. Candle Adhesive. Uh -huh. You usually put it in a um, candle. Awesome. It's really kind of candle wax. Um, let me see. Where can I? work here so that I don't everything doesn't fall to pieces here it's called stickum adhesive and she said you she goes in a radio voice you can get it wherever candles are sold <laughs> I go, guys aren't, don't know where candles are. Yeah, that's maybe. right. Uh, that doesn't tell me anything. Exactly. But you open it up, and it's super sticky candle wax. Wow. And you just put a teeny little bit on the bottom of your figure's feet. And you get them, you know, the feet flat as you can. And you stick, it, st stick their feet right on the glass. Nice. And they just stick right that's there. That's beautiful. An earthquake could happen, and... That's awesome. They stay. That's amazing. I'll show I'm you. A, this, this is called, it's also available on um, Amazon. Amazon. Stick them candle adhesive. I'm going to get something real quick from my closet that is, uh, is, is similar to that real quick. Okay. Well, everybody, everybody judge me for my swords. Everybody <laughs> noticed that I came up with this first. Ah, look at those swords. <laughs> what did he call them? Okay. Here's another display with the candle adhesive. Oh, that's awesome. I really need to get some LED lights, by the way. I don't have Yeah, they're really my, cool. For my Detolf. Yeah. There's Black Canary, Starman, Our Man, and uh, Starman, Our Man, Dr. Fate. Mm -hmm. Then we drop down. This is mostly Batgirl here. Nice. And then Superman and Batman. <laughs> and then when we get to the care and feeding and stuff, I'll go over to where the statues are. That's awesome. So I just went and got something, and I'm sorry I'm talking so much. I'm going to have to go in just a minute. No, we had you on here so you'd talk. So I'm trying to get all my words out. Um, <laughs> Use your indoor you, voice. Did, did you enjoy my swarts? Yes, we did. My wife makes fun of them. I'm like, they're not sweatpants. They're not shorts. They're swarts. <laughs> um, so, and this is kind of a little bit of a segue here into – uh, posing a little bit of posing, okay. but another way I have seen figures displayed that wax was a great idea. There's something in, in the, in the comic book collecting community that I would, I'm sorry, the, uh, action figure collecting community that I would highly recommend everybody in the chat. Check out if you are a, an action figure collector, or even someone who just casually enjoys action figures, there's a thing called articulated comic book art and it is where people take action figures and they display them with immaculately cool displays and then take photographs of them to the point where, I mean, it's, it's truly art. Like it's, it's incredible. You would be blown away by how awesome they can make action figures look and how dynamic they look and how realistic they look. So 
out of that, I kind of got into that for a little while while I was collecting. And what a lot of people do is they take these, this is just foam. This is like insulation mm. foam board from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever supply store you have with you. And what, what they do is they paint them and they, they doctor them up. So here I've got a little display, a little modular display that I have where I painted this foam board. And it's uh, black and gray, and you can Wait, see. Wait, let me like, highlight. Let me highlight yeah, you. Tyler. That'd be great. So you can see where there's like some uh, busted out rock, hmm. as if there was a fight here, and some chips and stuff. And then, if I want, I can put this on the back like that. How'd you get it to look like brick? And display it. You know what? Uh, maybe one day you can have me back on the show, and I can do a tutorial on that because it's. It's not difficult. It's a little bit involved, but it's not nearly as difficult as you would think. Um, but it looks cool, right? Yeah. So you, so you set this up just awesome. like this. And if you have some cool, um, if you have some cool accessories or cool other pieces that you've made or can buy, I've got like a couch that I made and some other really cool pieces that you can put on here. And it sets up a really cool scene that you can change and have a lot of fun with. But the the reason that I bring this out and bring this up is what a lot of people do, and it's a little more involved, so you'd have to look up a YouTube tutorial if you're into it, but what a lot of people do is they will actually, they make tiny little magnets that are super small, and you drill a little hole in the foot of your action figures, and you insert these tiny little magnets, and then you put magnets in if you make these backgrounds and stuff for your figures to display them on, and the figures will actually stand upright without having to poke mm. holes in anything or without having to glue them or anything like that because they got those magnets in there. And of mm. course you could use them on a thin shelf and put magnets on the bottom or something like that that would mm. also keep them up. Uh, it's a similar concept to the, to the wax. And I think the wax is a much simpler, easier way to do it. But if you were kind of looking to go to that next level and especially if you wanted to make some cool, cool boards like that, um, you could do that. So uh, you know, that kind of segues me into, and again, I'm sorry, I'm talking so much, but I am going to have to go in a second. Uh, and if there's any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them while I'm here. Um, Nick Munoz wants to see the couch now. You know what? That's in a box somewhere. <laughs> I really don't know where it is. Oh, uh, are you I've, sure? I've still got all my figures packed up for the most part in That's boxes sad. from when I moved a year and a half ago. It is sad. That's ridiculous. I know. A year and a half ago. <laughs> it's so wow. sad. It's one of those things where it's just so daunting. I've got like four giant tubs of figures that I just, I haven't gotten around to start to take them out and display them all, which I think is a large reason why I just haven't been buying <laughs> most of the figures to come out. Cause I'm like, man, I got all these in the tubs. I haven't even gotten out. So there's, there's a few figures and depending on, Quite honestly, how much you want to spend, because unfortunately, usually dollars translates to um, articulation, which usually translates to how easily a figure can be displayed, then it's going to be easier or more difficult to set up a figure to, to display it in cool ways. So I've got a few figures here that I wanted to show off real quick. And uh, Drew B is absolutely right. I take more talk more than Omar. It's it's shameful. <laughs> it is shameful. It's why we had you on the show. You had to jam it's, it all into the first so half shameful. hour. I know. To go back to work. It's unbelievable. So here I've got um, Scarlet Spider Man covering his face because he's ashamed of what they did with the character of Ben Riley. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassed, he hates it. Just like uh, just like every Marvel fan should feel. So here, you know, this is the three and three quarters inch figure. And you can see they actually, some of these have amazing articulation. It's got uh, double jointed knees, which means they can bend all the way back like this. Mm -hmm. Double jointed, uh, single jointed elbows here. They got a thigh swivel, um, you know, ankle articulation, not no ankle rocker, but back and forth. So there's some really good figures, bicep swivel, waist swivel, great figures, but because of the size, these little guys are almost impossible to stand on their own. Yeah, so tricky. 
So you either have to, oh, uh, you e like, let's see if I, I don't even know that I could get this guy to stand up if I wanted to. This is yep. like a circus trick right here. So they're really hard to stand up. So see, <laughs> so you're going to have to either lean them against each other, lean them against something or use the wax that Jess was talking about. Yeah. The bigger figures. Wax in that is a solution. <laughs> <laughs> The, the bigger figures, on the other hand, that have capes, you can kind of lean back or, or display. Yeah. You can crouch them. And, and I'm sure that if you've got Marvel Legends, it's kind of the same way. You know, you bend their knees. Because let's be real. You can pose all of your figures in vanilla poses, meaning yeah. they can just be standing there with their arms to their side mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, just chilling. But, like, who really wants to do that, right? Yeah. It's much more fun to display them like this. Action poses. Yeah. Like in, in cool, dynamic action poses. Mm -hmm. So here I'm I'm using the cape. Uh, and yes. You just went out. Your audio went out. You muted your mic. You muted your mic accidentally. That's there hilarious. The figure fell on the mic and muted. I said the green laser brings up an awesome point. The three and three quarter figures do have. There's a lot of stands you can get with these, uh, and and he he just brought that up, and that's an excellent point because those those figures badly need the stands or something else. Now, the further up you go in price, you know, you get to your Marvel Legends, which are the the six inches the predominant figure size. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of companies that make different seven inch figures like NECA makes a lot of seven inch figures or, um, you know, there's, there's a bunch of figure sizes, but the, these right here are going to be what you're going to find in target and what you're going to find in Walmart and all of that from Marvel. Do you guys have a lot of, of Marvel legend figure sizes? I just have uh, the six inch ones. Yeah. That's the Marvel legend. So they're the six inches. What about you, Gio? What, what size figures do you have? Uh, I have a little bit of everything. I do have Mesco figures that are seven or eight inches. Uh, the Marvel Legends are six inch. I used to have uh, the uh, three inch line for um, the Inhumans three pack. I think that, mm -hmm. I think that was the only one I had. Um, but they're all in a tub somewhere. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's mostly six inch, like you said. That's the standard size, I guess. So six inches this has been the standard size for about a. About two decades, really. Mm -hmm. um, Marvel Legends and DC Universe, which is another fantastic line. Um, Drew B asks a good question. Why does this channel hate DC so much? We don't hate DC. We hate Mattel. <laughs> Mattel yeah. is the one that's been doing yeah. the DC figures for the last 10 years. Yeah. And they are mm -hmm. awful at it. Those you figures know, are awful. I don't hate them as much as you guys do. Oh, I'm so glad. I don't, it, I don't mind. I do mind. And I'm I glad mind. they're going to McFarlane Toys. I don't know. They can't be any worse. So I'm <laughs> hoping that McFarlane really does a good job with yeah. them. Um, because then, I mean, I've got a ton of DC books that need figures in front of them. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. uh, right now, what they have is artifacts, statues, and stuff in front of them. Um, yeah. So I'm happy to. Uh, I've got a ton of DC shelves that need figures in front of them, and I'd be happy to um, get uh, some really good-looking DC figures. Well. I love the DC six inch line, but it's not, uh, it's not nearly as articulated or as good as the Marvel legends. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll give you that for sure. Um, but there's a lot of six inch DC figures out there because they've been putting them out for, you know, 10, 15 years now. They, yeah. they had a line DC universe. They got canceled. They did a subscription based line mm -hmm. where you paid in advance and they sent you one per month. And then they eventually came back kind of with their multiverse line which you can find in stores now. Uh, and those are all around $20. Yeah. That's kind of the price point for Marvel Legends and DC in the six inch figure line. The three and three quarter figures are anywhere between eight and $10. So there's a pretty significant price jump, but there's also a pretty significant jump in quality. And then you start talking about really getting into the imported figures. 
the Japanese figures, mm -hmm. which would be like your figure arts line, your Revel Tech lines. Um, in fact, Jess, don't you have a Spider Gwen figure? <laughs> I think that everybody at home would really enjoy seeing that figure because it's a it's an imported figure. It's probably the greatest figure that's ever been made. Uh, you're a and jerk. I, I think everybody would enjoy seeing it. Uh, I did a whole video on it early on in my career, and I can't find it now. I I don't even know that I I boxed it back up after I did that video. Then the flood in 2017 happened and everything got boxed up and taken out of here so they could redo the basement. And now I can't find it. And oh. Tyler is just jamming me up, totally teasing me. Do I even own the thing? <laughs> and I, I tore this basement apart yesterday and the early part of today looking for it because it was expensive it was one of those yamaguchi yeah mm -hmm. superposable ones yeah like yeah. i've got a spider-man like that and i have no idea where it is because it got packed up and i i tore this basement apart where could it possibly be and i cannot find the thing I mean, I did a freaking video on it, and <laughs> usually after I do a video on something, it goes on display, but mm. it, it must have just stayed in the box and got packed up. Thank well, you for bringing that up in front of the public. Tyler. You're welcome. I, I wanted them to know your that. pain because we all relate to losing something and not being able to find it. It's horrible. And then our friends mock us for it. It's just the worst. I appreciate it. <laughs> so the, the figure arts line and these imported figures, uh, I'll show you real quick. Just the two things that makes them really special, and they've got Marvel, they've got some uh, Star Wars, and of course anime. So this is a Dragon Ball Z figure. Uh, just to show you guys, the articulation is just unreal. Um, mm -hmm. Double jointed elbows. Well, I just knocked his little shoulder pad off. Removable shoulder pads. Um, <laughs> you know, this is the eighties. They have shoulder pads. I know these characters do. Isn't that ridiculous? So then you got. Um, Double jointed knees, ankle pivot. Like, look at that. Ankle pivots. Ankle pivots. Who does that mm -hmm. anymore? Um, just amazing articulation. But that's not the big selling point, though it is amazing for this these imported figures. The big selling point is how many amazing accessories these figures come with. Because every figure from Figure Arts. I don't know if you'll really be able to tell with the figures I grabbed that are still in box, but every figure has multiple heads, mm -hmm. hairstyles and weapons and other accessories that they come with face swaps. Like you can actually take out their face and put in other expressions. I mean, it is unbelievable. So, so if Jess had that spider Gwen, you'd probably see some really cool hands, so like different displayed hands, fists, web fingers, um you could change her eyes that's awesome i mean that's incredible yeah. so all of these figures offer just immense detail immense custom ability in terms of posing very dynamic posing yeah. and then really really awesome part swaps and that's what makes them so special to me but the price is expensive i mean a lot of these figures are 50 bucks a pop like they're not cheap mm -hmm. um but if you got a few characters you love or you think they're really cool, absolutely worth getting. And then um, there are there's a bigger line, like a 12-inch line. Oh, yeah, I've seen those at like Walgreens. Yeah, and this is a great figure. It's, it's a step up from Marvel Legends. It's got a little bit more articulation. No waist pivot, which is really bothers me. It's got like a, a rib joint, but no, no waist articulation. Why? But, I mean, ankle pit, like – like calf pivots, ankle pivots. Look at this. Toe articulation. That is cool. Isn't that awesome? And then these come with hand swaps and head swaps, which is really cool. But these are priced at, I think retail is 40 bucks, but they almost always go on sale at some point if you wait long enough. I think I found mm -hmm. this guy for like 15 or 20. Um, and then you've got your build a figures which are the crown jewel oh, of most collections. Whoa. I wish Finn I could own that. Foom? Finn nice. Fang Foom build-a-figure. Classic build-a-figure. How build -a -figure. old is that? 
This figure came out in 2000, either 2009 or 2000. And, I think it was 2008, right? 2008. Okay. Sometime around, around there. It was They're in a so target exclusive. now compared to that. I know there, there, it was in a target exclusive, um, red Hulk wave. I love it. That's so oh cool. Oh my very, gosh. Very they're cool. huge. So, I mean, Hulk wave just in general. So there's a lot of great Hulk figures. There's a, and, and that's the beauty of collecting these action figures, right? The the fun is setting them all up in, in cool dynamic poses. And there's nothing wrong with vanilla poses if that's what you like. But setting them up in cool dynamic poses is really cool. But there's just such a rich history. And again, this is why the six inch line is a fan favorite line. <laughs> Ooh, special guest appearance. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love it. The highlight of the show. <laughs> yeah. Let's get her on camera. You in a way? Can say hey? No, up here. Can say hey? Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Can say hey? <laughs> no. Okay. Good night, buddy. Oh, that is adorable. Love God you, bless. Um, so, yeah, someone mentioned here quick. That's cool. So, the, uh, the, the crown jewel... Or, or the crowning achievement in any collection is the fact that because these collections have have the six inch has been the standard for so long, you got these crown jewels. Like for me, that's my crown jewel, not my daughter, which is awesome. The uh, <laughs> the Fin Fang Foom is probably my favorite build a figure of all time, right? Yeah. And all these figures have such a rich history that they've been making them so long in six inch, and that's why it's such a big deal to keep getting them in six inch if you collect in six inch, because you can go back and find your favorite character because they've made them all. I mean, really they have made the most random, the most absurd characters over the last 15 years. But the beauty is if you're a new collector and you think, man, that's just in intimidating. I don't want to get all the way back, uh, go all the way back and collect all these figures. Boy, I just really wish I had a black suit spidey. That was one that people wanted for a long time, but it was, it was expensive. It's 50 bucks, hard to find. They just made a new one because they're constantly releasing new models of old figures and popular characters. So see, you got the, Oh, that's a great one. And that's, that's from uh, the superior run. I believe when he got uh, the black suit on. That's, the from, that's, that's from the uh, star uh, that Dan Slott did, right? Um, the red. Yeah. Album yeah. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It's at the very end. That's right. Right before issue. Cause his eyes pop out that? from his, Mass. Yes, yeah, you're absolutely right. Out. I had forgotten that. That was that was a fun arc with the red goblin. Um, mm -hmm. but the uh the six inch figures are just they're great to to jump into. So I highly recommend them. If you're if you're thinking about getting to collecting action figures, don't try to get them all. Don't even try to get every wave that comes out. Pick the figures you like. The build of figures went from new waves run between 30 and 50 bucks. So, you know, just, just pick the figures you like, jump in. There's a rich history of Marvel Legends and six-inch figures. You can always go back and get a figure that you really like. And uh, and you never know. They might make it again. They might make a new one. And you can team Kingpin's them. going for 100 bucks. Oh, wow. Kingpin is? Yeah. Wow. That's is, that, is that the new for. figure? Yeah. I bet you he'll come down in price. Oftentimes, they come down after the wave gets super prominent everywhere. I don't know. He's selling consistently there because they need that body for uh, uh, Farouk? What's his name? Yeah. the, yeah, the Shadow. Shadow King. Yeah. Shadow that King. body. If you've got the Shadow King head, it can go on that body too. That is rough. That's yeah. rough. You know so, what I want to build? I want to build um, the oh my god. The uh, FF substitute team i forgot uh it was marvel now right where it was uh she she thing she hulk uh ant-man and um, yeah and medusa i really want to i've been wanting for ages to do that team but i don't think i can do it i don't think they released a uh a way to take another thing figure and but i i don't know Pink hair. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, customizing figures too is its whole. Whew, that's a whole. Um, that's a whole rabbit hole to jump in at some point. Uh, I've got mm -hmm. I've got five custom figures 
Oh, really? That somebody that I had somebody make for me before they existed in figure form by splicing together, like Gio was talking about, other parts, but then like painting them and, and making them really cool. Um, my favorite one is Daredevil from the first season of Netflix in his black costume. Uh, that's a great one. And there's some other really cool ones, but um, customizing is, ooh, it's its whole world. It is, it is a whole world. I'm not falling down that rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> the beauty of it is if you pay somebody, they'll make you whatever no, you want. That's enough money. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Drew B asked if Mattel did that the legendary He-Man toys. Mattel still does the He-Man toys. Um, they have had, they had a really prominent masters of the universe line that was in stores for a really long time. And, uh, and they actually liquidated them from Walmarts and Targets and everything. Uh oh, we lost Gio. He'll be back. Okay. There he is. Um, they liquidated them from Walmarts and Targets, and all these He Man figures were listed at $4.99 wow. at Big Lots. So I went and got like mm, 30 figures, 35 <laughs> figures. And that that jumped me into the He Man line. Uh, and then they went to kind of like I mentioned, the DC did a monthly subscription. He-Man did a monthly subscription and I got those figures. And then I bought Castle Grayskull for $300 and wow. it was, it was a really fun time and I had a lot of fun collecting it and I've still got Castle Grayskull, but I ended up selling off the vast majority of the He-Man collection, but they still, Drew B, to answer your question, they still make uh, He-Man toys and they're still really well made. Yep, second guest. Man, I tell you, it's like. You never know who's going to pop in over here. What happened? There's a second guest. She has amazing articulation. Let me tell you. <laughs> Very lifelike. <laughs> Was she crawling on the floor? Let's see if we can find her. It's my dog. I don't know oh. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. She'll, she'll show up at some point. Well, there's another way to pose these guys, uh, and I'll show you the spider door. That's amazing. Oh, man, it's so cool. And I hate to do it, guys, but while Jess is walking, I got to bounce. Thanks okay, for having well, me thanks on the for show. Appearing, Sorry, I just up, vomited buddy. every word that I had, every word in the English <laughs> language fine. for about 25 minutes. That's why we had you on. Uh, but I appreciate mm -hmm. you having me on. It was a lot of fun. If you guys have any questions about uh, figures or, or displaying or anything, these guys I'm sure can answer it. But if not... You can find me, the Omnibus Comic Book Collector Swapping Community. Collector Swap? I don't think people swap collectors. I could be wrong. Comic Swap. <laughs> Comic Swap. See you guys. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Tyler. Buddy. All right. All right. Um, here's the spider door. Let's see oh, if we can awesome. get a long shot. <laughs> the story is that up at the top, um, Carnage has MJ and some other symbiotes are with him. Lasher and uh, I forget what the girl's name is in yellow. What's her name? Scream, I think. Scream. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they've got MJ and all the other spiders are coming to rescue her. So hmm, That's awesome. See if we can get a little closer and you can see. See if I can do a decent and they haven't job. fallen, right? They haven't fallen. They uh, stick on I've, well. I've lost one of them, but then I stuck it back up. Yeah. Um, nice. And then there's some over here, too. Amazingly, that one up the top is just stuck by his feet. He hasn't fallen yet. <laughs> it's his spider powers. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I really need to get more Spider-Man figures. So I now you know why I'm so into Spider-Man figures. Because mm -hmm. I really <laughs> like putting them on the door. <laughs> He's just standing, hanging there. He's the, just uh, hanging the there. Yeah, I didn't know what else to do with him. He was too heavy for <laughs> for uh, to to stick on the door. And then I found a place. Geo, you super baited me on these. Yes, nice. I found a place. The Legion door. The Legion door, yeah. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh, they look awesome. 
there's Lightning Lad. Oh yeah, um, Cosmic Boy, Pharaoh Lad, yeah, and Saturn. Your boy, Pharaoh. Your boy Pharaoh Lad. And you'll notice that Pharaoh Lad saved the freaking universe, but has the worst card. <laughs> Everybody else has something nice, like the flight belt and a flight ring and a mm -hmm. nice background. He got nothing. He's got Jack. It's just Pharaoh Lad. <laughs> and somebody asked who made these. And I it just comes from DC Direct. Yeah, that's the line. It's just DC Direct. DC Direct made in China for DC Comics is all it says. Yeah. You're still around. They still do stuff from time to time. Yeah. Max Mercury. Tomorrow Woman. <laughs> I don't know either of those characters. That was a time when I was, must have not been reading DC Comics. Those um, DC Direct, they also did the uh, New Gods line. And I oh, really, okay. really want them, but they're so expensive because they're all out of stock. Everywhere. Oh, I only have Barda, and she. I think you have Barda too, right? I have, uh, yeah, I have Barda. And she was like, uh, when, when she came out, she was like 20 or 30 bucks. Now she's like 50 bucks or something like that. Oh, it's insane. I want uh, their dark side and uh, Mr. Miracle, but easily that could fetch up more than 100 bucks. To get both of them, and I'm like, I don't want to waste a hundred bucks on. Wow, <laughs> I'd rather get something else. <laughs> so Holy for smoke. now, Bard is by herself on my shelf. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna yeah. stay that way too. I'm yeah. mine. <laughs> so let's see. We've gone through posing, and mm -hmm. um, I guess uh, we can talk about statues. Um, and there's no I there's no right or wrong way to display statues. I mean, that's going to be your personal preference. Mm -hmm. um, and you see, you got my bombshells. Okay. Wait, this mirroring thing is weird. <laughs> uh, you've got bombshells back here. And the only thing I do as far as being careful is I got a, like a Swiffer duster. Mm -hmm. That's strictly for the base. Yeah. I'll go for the base on my statues, and then I will get a um, a cloth that is like a like not a terry cloth, but is like a uh, the exact opposite of a terry cloth. I'm not good on fabric, so I don't know what this is, but it's not it's not going to snag anything, mm -hmm. you know. And I, I wet it, it I wet it down, and then I will just gently go over stuff like this. Yeah. I won't even touch this stuff. Uh, if you Me. can see, like the poison ivy uh, oh, vines. Okay. Yeah, the extra vines and stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to touch that. Like, yeah, I would I never even touch Gwen's <laughs> umbrella. I'll touch, her, I'll, like... I'll touch her base and dust it off, yeah. which it looks like it needs dusting. It looks like it could break <laughs> if you're not careful. Her umbrella? The umbrella and Ivy's uh, branches and stuff. Yeah, and message boards. These things are famous for, both those things are famous for breaking. I saw the Poison Ivy. It's broken, but it's still fetching for a really high price, which is ridiculous. It's, it was going for like 200 bucks. A broken Poison Ivy? Yeah, because <laughs> they had broken off the branches. But hey, it's super rare, so I'm still going to charge you 200 bucks for it. Like no, no, too many crickets. Yeah. So I'll show you one that I that I rarely intermingle with, and that is the bombshell Catwoman there. Oh, that's notorious. That I I live in fear. She's over here by herself, pretty much, mm -hmm. because of that cigarette and the cigarette holder. Yeah. I do not even. I mean, I I'll come over here and maybe dust her leg, and that's mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. I don't want to get near that cigarette holder. I think she's the one with the most accessories, right? Uh, I think Jessica has more accessories. She's got the the mm. lamp and the signpost oh, and, right. the and the cones. two cones. Yeah. Oh, they're so yeah. cool. 
easily the best statue line. I love it. They're great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty happy that I fell in love with these guys. These guys are awesome. It's, you know, it's a shame that most of them are out of print or out of stock. And yeah. now what they're doing is they're doing sepia uh, variants, yeah. which is cool. But I'm like, ah, oh, come on. Can't you just print it out again? Like make a, a, a different, I don't know. Uh, it, it won't look the same when you put it up with the rest of the statues. Um, let's go out to where I have some bigger statues and we can talk. They are easier to dust. Mm -hmm. Here's another collection of statues. Nice. Oops, get the duster out of the way. That is lovely. Um, okay, wait. Let me try and get this level. Mm -hmm. There we go. This mirroring thing is weird. <laughs> uh, there, it looks fine there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, those, these are a little bit easier to dust. There's not as... Mm -hmm. But, and I don't know that if I were to redo this again, I'd make it as um, crowded as it is. I think that, uh, oh, and there's the Adam Hughes. Uh, well, oh, okay. Do you see the Adam Hughes? Yeah, 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 the Harley. Harley, yeah. So I already had that. Nice. So just uh, do we see any bucks. Yamaguchi <laughs> Gwenpool in there? No. No. Not there. I do remember that video, though. That was cool. <laughs> That's all I have of it now. It's got to be somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, here's some more statues. Oh, That's the rest of the bombshells. Bombshells, yeah. And then... Mm -hmm. These guys are easier to dust. Oh, those are badass that's awesome <laughs> because they're a lot sturdier mm -hmm. and there's fewer things to go wrong yeah i mean i can do her hat and not fear that it's going to get broken yep. i can do her head here oh boy she's needed a dusting for serious for a long time <laughs> So that's just, I mean, you just have to be, for anybody out there that's got one of these things, you just have to be careful because these are real investments at some point. Mm -hmm. Like Captain Marvel now is is uh, Ooh, yeah pricey Absolutely. at this point. Yep. And you just have to be careful. Let me check how, uh, how it's going on eBay. Uh, Captain Marvel. Oh boy, yeah, that's really expensive on on oh, is websites it? like eBay. Yeah, I'm seeing offers for like uh, thirteen hundred bucks. What? Yeah, a thousand uh, seven hundred. Uh, let's see how many sold uh, for those prices. Yeah, ay ay ay. Sold this thing. I may not touch her again. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> oh, where's the freaking? Sold items. There we go. Yeah, somebody bought one for thirteen hundred bucks. Another bought it for six hundred, eight hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred. That's all over the place. Jesus. Uh, there's a good idea. Edgar Edgar D says in the statue world we use makeup brushes. That's probably a really good idea. I have a brush, but I rarely use it because I only have uh, one like pricey statue. My Aquaman sideshow. Uh, so, you know, the rest are on a detolve, so I don't <laughs> I don't bother with them. I rarely uh, bring them. <laughs> if it's if it's gone up that much, I think I spent 400 on it. it. It was probably there like 400 500 bucks. Yeah. Uh I think I may start using makeup brushes then. Mhm. Mm Get the ones with the softest um brush. Um 
because that will not harm the paint app on the okay. figure, I think. I might be wrong, but I know it has something to do with the paint application. <laughs> right. Yeah, you don't want to scratch it off. Mm -hmm. So the softer, the better, I think. Maybe somebody in the chat can correct me on that. Maybe Edgar D can Edgar D can give us some more uh, tips. That's really important to know. Mm -hmm. um, the small one with the motorcycle green laser. There was uh, Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman were the two on the motorcycle. Yeah. How much do you want for the Supergirl statue? Higher rated <laughs> air filters help with the dust level. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's another thing. A friend of mine has. Um, air purifier on his room with the collectibles. So there's oh. barely any dust in the room. Like he still gets dust, but it's very minimal compared to a room without it. That's a good idea. Yeah. Those things are expensive though. Yeah. Easily one can cost you like 90, a hundred bucks. Mm, if you want to get a really good one, they can go cost upwards of 500. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really need to get now. I'm a little upset because I wanted to show off my uh, statues because I haven't done it on YouTube, but uh, you can't really see anything because it, it has no lights. It's right next to me. And I really need to put like a, either a puck light at the top or a LED strip like you have. But if Your I. Your D's off? Yeah. I want to add some type of lighting to it. Those um, LED strips are uh, really easy to put in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just need to not be as lazy as I am <laughs> and buy them because <laughs> they're really cheap too. They're like what, like uh, less than fifteen bucks? You can find them online. Oh, I don't know. I just went to IKEA and got them, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Um, let's see. So let's see. We've been through. Uh, well, it's your choice if you want to pose them, but if you use. Stick them, That's candle adhesive. You can mm -hmm. pose them even much better. Yep. Um, so that's that was just a question of my getting them up in the detolfs and sticking because they weren't they weren't uh, yeah. they weren't standing up properly. Um, so um, I would I would like to get mine. That's why I like the spider door because they're all in such dynamic poses. Um, and I'd like to get some of uh, my other action figures in some dynamic poses. So I, that's, that's why I'm going to use this stick them stuff. Jess, do you remember this? Oh yeah. I sent you some of those. <laughs> this was the very first one and it's the only one I proudly display. The rest are in safekeeping, but this one, I just have it here with uh, nice. my uh, little turtles right there. Oh, cool. Yeah. I do collect a lot of pops, though. So, But those are all uh, Overwatch pops. I do want to get like the, some uh, stair plastic risers that look like staircases. Oh, yeah. So so you... They're different levels, but I haven't yeah. found them yet. I don't want to pay too much for that stuff. And... Uh, some gaming statues. Uh, I got oh, yeah, that link is cool. Yeah. And I did show off the Mesco ones on uh, the last episode that we did. Those are my favorite figures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love them. They're so cool. Yeah. I'm missing uh, Lobster Johnson and uh, the gorilla and the alien figure to complete the set. Yeah. You've got a couple more than I do. Yeah. Although I think and I have Lobster Johnson. That's my only sideshow. And if, if anybody was wondering if you've seen my videos on YouTube, uh, Aquaman, of course, I had to get that bad boy. Yeah. I, I don't I don't have the exclusive portrait, which had a uh, bearded Aquaman from the 90s because I got into it too late and it was already sold out. It was like an ex uh, exclusive when it came out. So I'm desperately looking online to see if somebody's going to sell the head by itself. I would buy it immediately, but so mm. far nobody has done it. <laughs> it comes with the harpoon hook hand and stuff. So Oh, cool. Yeah, but I missed out on that. That's a Sonic 
gaming statue thingy. Uh, yeah, I just mostly display pops. I don't have uh, my figures with me at the moment, the Marvel Legends. But if anybody was wondering, here is uh, Barda <laughs> chilling out on the Valiant shelf for some reason. The Valiant cube. Don't judge. He likes, <laughs> he likes Valiant. <laughs> I have so, tons of Valiant. Yeah. So, let's see what else. That's about it. I don't. I don't. I, I stopped getting them because it can be a little bit of a dangerous hobby to yeah. start getting so many figures. So I'm fine with what I have so far. Mm hmm. Yeah. Let me see. I'll be right back. Let me turn off the camera for a second. Okay. If you don't hear me. And see yeah. if I can try and highlight the statues. Bruce, are you it. asking me what kind of bookcase is right behind me? If you're asking me what kind of Bruce, uh, what's behind me? These are Billy's from Ikea. And this bookcase in front of, I mean, the, the bookcase in back of me is a Billy. These are Billy's yeah. right here. The bookcase in front of me, that's uh, a Kalax. Mm -hmm. That's my only Kalax. Everything else is Billy's. Billy's. They're fun. Of different dimensions. Mm hmm. Oh, and there's your detail. Yeah, there's a lot of glare. I'm sorry about that, but you can. Oh, sort of... your oh your uh, bombshells look great in there. Yeah, there's Mira, um, Zatanna. I wanted to get that bombshell, but unfortunately, it's out of print. Uh, I keep saying out of print. It's out of stock. I'm used to or out of production. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Hawk Girl, and I sort of it's a mash of characters, you know. Uh -huh. um, I'm trying to see if I can't get the reflection. There you go. Yeah. There's Got Frank Cho's that. Wonder Woman statue. Yeah, that's cool. Katana Bishoju, uh, Magic Kotobukiya, and uh, that's Rimuru from that's from a manga, uh, the slime manga that I always talk about. Oh yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, my uh, six inch and ten inch pops. <laughs> Found oh, some nice. room for them. And uh, over here, damn it, you can't really see it. It's uh, Overwatch. Let's see if I can open the door. Hold on. Can you imagine if they fell over? Uh oh. <laughs> That's my worst fear. Yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Perfect solution. Yeah, so that's a uh, hawk girl bust from Adam Hughes that I got from our friend Felipe. Oh, nice. Uh, Chun Li, one of my favorite uh, female video game characters. That's Mercy from Overwatch. And then down below, it's really dark. I apologize. Star Girl, mm -hmm. uh, Cheetah, taking a picture of her. <laughs> and uh, Blaze, which I was inspired by your Blaze, and I wanted to get it. And it's awesome. Blaze is great. Yeah, such a cool statue. <laughs> yeah, she's such a great character, too. And she's on the cover of my Red Lantern's custom Omni. I'm going to turn on my cell phone light. See if... There you go. Oh, there you go. I don't know if and if you can see it, but over there are a few Batman uh, statues. There's Batgirl doing a handstand, taking a selfie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Batwoman, Kotobukiya, Bishoju. There's the Diamond Select Catwoman and Batman. It's a black and white Batman from David Finch. And that's about it. Yep. Cool. Very oh, nice. I, I don't know if this shows up, but that's Tracer from Overwatch. That Black Widow is really, uh, it's not super expensive, but it's kind of pricey online. I think it's going for like double the price. Uh, uh -huh. it was a Marvel now black widow statue. And, uh, my rarest figure actually is, uh, Liara, which I don't know if you can see, um, right there next to tracer. Uh, she, I, I remember buying it for like 60 bucks at my local comic book shop a long time ago. And now it's going for like 300, 500 bucks, something crazy. Whoa. Yeah, it went out of production really fast, and it got super expensive. That was insane. <laughs>
yeah, that's sort of my figures and collectibles. Nice. Let me close the door just in case. Yeah, you never know. Okay. And I do have a lot of pops, but nobody wants to talk about pops. No. <laughs> Those things are like at, at a satanic level because they're so cheap. Before you know it, your house is infested with pops. Yeah, that's <laughs> totally true. I had to store a lot of them on a huge tube that I got, uh, tub, sorry, for my figures. And uh, I just have like my favorite ones out for display. Everything else is in storage. Yeah, I, I only have... A few that I have displayed, and everything else got sold on eBay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were going to post them. Nice. I did. So and I did. Sold? Yeah. They sold cool. from anywhere from 10 to $80. Wow. Nice. And I got a special, um, really thick plastic pop collector for my Ralphie. Oh, my buddy's yeah. That's, Ralphie. that's a rare one. Yeah, it's uh, now that I saw how really rare it is, I got a, a special bunny uh, bunny suit, a special pop protection thing for it. Mm -hmm. I think uh, my rarest pop is a two pack that I got for uh, Lord of the Rings, and it's oh, I thought going... you meant two pack, two pack. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry. It's a, <laughs> it was a two pack pop set uh, from Lord of the Rings, and it's going for like between 80 to like 120. Oh, okay. And who so is I, it of? Uh, Aragorn and um, uh, his uh, his wife. I forgot her name. Jesus. Uh, Arwen. Arwen from Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was a San Diego Comic-Con from, I think, 2017. Yeah, 2017. Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. We've pretty much covered any, everything. How to display them, how to clean them, how to take care of them, how not yep. to pose them. I showed how to not to pose them. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. I've got some death trap ones that <laughs> so far have stayed up. I just try and not go near it. Um, but uh, I, if you can, don't have anything poking out. If you if you're gonna do what I do, having figures near your books, just try not to have anything sticking out of the shelves because oh, yeah. your shirt will catch every time, or your pant leg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So, are there any um? No showcase. What what is uh what is what is that referring to? Showcase? Bruce. No showcase? What's that? Um, I'm not sure what, what you mean by that. I have some showcase comics from DC. Showcase. I can show you my spinner rack of comics. That thing is cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, I can show you my spinner rack of comics. Showcase statues, he meant. Oh, yeah. I did have showcase statues. That's what I showed over there. Mm -hmm. I showed those showcase statues, and then I have some other ones right here. Well, there's these. Those are great. That's awesome. The, there, there's those showcase mm -hmm. statues. I don't know how this is going to work. I can't even keep myself in the shot. <laughs> it's going to make everybody seasick. You're doing great, though. Don't worry you, about you it. You think? Yeah. These are all showcase up here. No, there's, yeah, there's that. Uh, Can you see those? Mm-hmm. 
We can see him. Let me see if I can get... There. Nice. There you go. Those are all showcased except for the Harley Quinn. That's that a... Uh, yeah. What's that one? Uh, from uh, tweet, Tweeterhead? Tweeterhead, yeah. yeah. And then that Little Mermaid one... Um, I got it from Showcase, but it's a uh, J. Scott Campbell statue. Uh, but I think it is a uh, uh, small correction. We're talking about Sideshow, not Showcase. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. That's what I'm showing you, Sideshow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought we were talking about. I do want to get your Wonder Woman Sideshow. I'd I, do you still have it? Where yeah, she's holding the uh, lance or axe or whatever. Yeah, that the light's not on in that room. Let's see mm. if we can see it. I didn't. I ran out of time to turn on the light. I love that statue. That was the first sideshow I've ever saw online, and, and I really do want to get it at some point. Let's see. Can you see in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see it. You can see it in there. Mm hmm. Oh, so badass! I want that so badly. <laughs> I do want to pose it next to uh, Arthur. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back to the spinner rack. Okay, here's the spinner rack of comics. Let's see if we can get some good light on it. That is awesome. My wife got me this. As a Christmas present, that birthday cool. present. Hmm. Actually, maybe I can set it down. There we go. Perfect. So it's full Silver Age comics. <laughs> can you hear the squeak? Oh, that squeak. It's authentic. It's I left the there. squeak in because it reminded me of the drugstore that I uh -huh. used to go to. So here's... Uh, Flash. Nice. Strange Tales. That, that just looks great on any collection. Having a, a rack like that, that's awesome. I guess you can see that I'm a f lover of Flash. <laughs> I, I was going to I was going to mention that at some point. <laughs> there are a lot of Flash comics in this spinner rack. But wait, where's the most important comic? Right here. The mm. Ghost of Pharaoh Lad. <laughs> After the death of Pharaoh Lad, he comes back and haunts the Legion's spaceship. Nice. Classic. Yeah, it's classic. Here's a classic cover. Crisis oh, on yeah. Earth One. Nice. I didn't know you had that. That's cool. Oh, I got several copies of this. This is my at-home copy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Star Trek Pingball Machine? Yeah. I've never mentioned it, but the fact that you have a Star Trek pinball, to me, it is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I'm like super jealous. I'm like, wow, that is cool. Yeah, obviously it's not on right now, but yeah. Nice. It's gotten a lot of play, too. <laughs> and here's the jukebox. 
Ooh, classic. Nice. And then here's the this is the Batman. There's the the Barbara this is the Barbara Gordon. Mm. Been a while since we've seen that on the show. Yeah. Nice. And here's the Barbara Gordon. These are just some crummy copies that I had. I've got much <laughs> better copies in the safe deposit box. But there's Adam West's signature cool. right there. And then first appearance and then like her third appearance. That's awesome. <laughs> Green laser. Geo wants a copy. <laughs> Uh, there is a question for you on the chat. About my safety deposit boxes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know the answer to that. I will say I have multiple safety deposit boxes, though. Nice. Keeping things secured. That's right. That's going to pay for my health care starting next year. <laughs> and I'm not kidding about that. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> true. Were you were you able to replace what was the comic that got damaged uh, with the flood? That was a it was a oh, key issue of something. Yeah, the um, the death of Superman one from like nineteen sixty two or whatever when brain when Lex Luthor kills him in an imaginary <laughs> tale. Is that the one or uh, was, was that key, one? it was a key issue? I think it was some. Wasn't it something Vertigo? It was some, it was something famous, I, I, but I don't remember what it was. I, I remember you told us it was in the detolve at the bottom. So it took oh, in. oh, um, that actually ended up surviving. It was uh, the first appearance of John Constantine. Ah, all right, cool, nice. Because it was, um, it was slabbed. It no, it, it was bagged, and the the bagging kept it. Uh, from uh, getting water, water. Yeah, nice. yeah. The bagging turned out to be waterproof. That was the real MVP that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there was another book. Um, oh, I, um, I must have grabbed that out. It would, because that was the first swamp thing that was next to it. I must have grabbed mm -hmm. that out when the when the flood came in, and just left the John Constantine one from fend for himself. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever compared the coloring in your original ghost of feral ad comic to the version in the silver age omni mm. uh no i haven't i'll do that though maybe tonight has the coloring changed highlighter i have uh, actually sent geo several care packages that's true. Yep. <laughs> I sent you a food care package one time. Mm, you did? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, oh, my God, I'm so sorry that I forgot. The uh, the fries, the chips, right? Yeah. Um, they were special, some kind of special junk food that I could only get at 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah. So the cap chips? Exactly. That's the one. Because you yeah. can't find them over here. They don't sell them. Right. I sent you a bunch of bags of Andy Cap uh, potato chips, mm -hmm. Andy Cap fries. Yep. And you were super gracious and got me, helped me get a second copy of the uh, omnibus that I lost, um, the Harley Quinn omnibus. Oh, yeah. And I sent, and I got you that Mira cover. True. A special True. Mira variant that you wanted. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm always thankful and I, do not know how to thank you enough. Uh, so, yeah. Well, you've already thanked me once for them. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking for extra thanks. I'm just pointing out to Green Laser that uh, I've already sent him care packages. Uh, Bruce, I do have uh, both. Didn't know how true to the original the remastered Omni was. Um. 
Uh, well, I'll check that out. That's a good question. There's a question for you, uh, Gio. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm writing it, but I might as well address it. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, are shipping fees crazy expensive to Puerto Rico compared to the... Uh, you know, it's it. You know, Puerto Rico being part of the U.S., it's the same thing. Um, it, it it depends on what people are sending, but uh, you got to remember it's somewhat the same to ship to uh, Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico. It's going to be expensive because it's going to travel longer. But um, IST has the same rules as everybody else, so I thank them for that. And if it's going via USPS, it's going to be similar. Uh, rates, I think, for the priority and the express stuff and whatever. It's mostly the same. But sometimes you do get websites that want to charge you more. Uh, speaking of IST, this is probably a good time for me to mention them again, instocktrades.com, where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add 2% to that. There's always a quarterly uh, Omnibros discount code. Mm -hmm. In the United States, you get free shipping, and the United States does include Puerto Rico, so you get free shipping if you order $50 or more worth of books, that is. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure that's clear. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's InStockTrades.com. Nicely done. Thank you. So, uh, mm, Highlighter, you've got me on a mission tonight. Now I want to go take that issue and compare the uh, the original to the... That, uh, you could make a video out of it for your channel. That'd be pretty cool. I just did the... That would have been a good question for me about a month ago because I just did an overview of the <laughs> Silver Age uh, Legion of Superheroes about a month ago. Mm. Um. Uh, Joe Chip, this is a good one. I want the U.S. to invade Canada so I can get free shipping from IST. <laughs> I want them to do that too, so I can get uh, good health care. Yeah. Cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's figure that out, Joe Chip. <laughs> we want an invasion of Canada. Based on Omnibro's reviews, I ordered many of the TMNT IDW books from IST. Right on. Good job. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, well, here's a good question. I'm not sure. So want to upgrade all my trades to Omni. So where should I trade or sell my books? Uh, Bruce, where are you? Is there a half price books or a second in Charles near you? Um, or you could donate them to your local library and get a tax write off. That's uh, always good. That's so, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I've got a, t I've got like seven short boxes that I'm accumulating that I need to get in before the end of the year. Um, he lives in Texas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so there's a bunch of half price books in Texas. I know that, um, you could try half price books. And if you don't like what they offer you on that, I would say, um, because you're going to have to, if you go through eBay, you're going to have to factor in shipping. Mm -hmm. um, a is a $5, if getting $5 on a trade paperback really worth, you know. All the fees and shipping. Fees and shipping. Yeah. Um, and um, is Half Price Books going to offer you what you think is worth it? Is $5 you know, five dollars is five dollars. So if you've got forty books that you can get five dollars a piece on, mm -hmm. that's real money. But if they're not going to offer you that much, then I would consider donating to the library and taking cover price and deducting that off your taxes. Yep. Half price sucks. Get a penny for books. Okay. 
unless you want to go to a trade sell buy group online, like on Facebook, that's always an option. Yeah, buy sell trade on Facebook. You could try that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are saying Facebook groups. You might be able to get more on Facebook groups. Yep. Uh, I don't know the answer to this one from Smotlog. I, the only way I would be able to answer this is by comparing them on Amazon. So that's this question. Uh, Omar would know that right off the top of his head. Does that burn Spider-Man Omni that came out this week have some of the same issues the Marvel Universe Omnis by Marvel have? I can check that real quick. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I don't think so, but just in case, let me check. Does anyone maintain a list of known misprints and defects in the different printings of omnibuses, as well as which printings is preferable because of better paper quality? That's an excellent question. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I don't. I'm too lazy for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I just That's don't. Great. I just don't have the encyclopedic <laughs> knowledge necessary for that. Yeah. Uh, all right. So the Marvel Universe by John Byrne has issues from Champions, Marvel Preview, Avengers, Power Man, Marvel Premiere, Captain America, Silver Surfer, Incredible Hulk, Wolverine, and material from Marvel Fanfare. So no. Any Marvel because team up? Marvel team up. Let's see. Uh, I don't see any Marvel team up on the Marvel Universe omnibus. Okay. So then there's the Spidey book doesn't have anything that the Marvel Universe was. I don't think so. Yeah. I think okay. they did. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm disappointed that Marvel kept that cover uh, for the Spider-Man burn omnibus because I hate the floating head thing. Oh. On, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. I thought they were going to do something different because that was the original cover for the trades when they first came out a long time ago, early 2000s, and I hated them then, and I hate that omnibus now. <laughs> At least that cover. It looks yeah. so stupid. The floating head concept is not one that moves you, huh? No. Especially on movie posters. I hate that stuff. Hey, you know what I'm missing now that I think about it for my collection? I want to get a She-Hulk. I don't own any She-Hulk figures. Or statues. Uh, are there action figures for She-Hulk? Uh, there is one from Toy Biz, and there's I think there's an old Marvel Legends from when Har uh, Hasbro was first starting. Uh, there is a Sideshow statue. Um, I think they're coming out with a Kotobukiya statue where she's all hulked up from the recent uh, Jason Aaron stuff, where she's like pretty freaking huge. And they're coming out with the grayish She-Hulk from the new run. Uh, where her pants are ripping off and stuff. Um, that's coming out. I think I showed it on the previous show, right? Hmm. When I when I shared my screen, I think I highlighted that one. <laughs> Tyler's back in the chat. He says there's a red and green She-Hulk Marvel Legends. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's, uh, but like I don't know. Red Do and wanna... green. Yeah, because there's red She-Hulk and the regular She-Hulk. I the remember Red, Red Shulk. I read that book. It was yeah. a good book. Yeah, it's from it's from that run, I think, the figure. But I don't know if I want to go back and, and look for that one because I think it's a little bit pricier than a new figure. I don't know. Hmm. I could use but, a She Hulk. I've got She Hulk books that she could go in front of. Right? I mean like, I'm so excited that, one, she's got the TV show coming up, and she's getting that omnibus. I want right. to get that omnibus and have a figure with it. 
I don't know. Um, I do want to build that team, though. I'm obsessed with that FF team. I know not a lot of people like it. But I like it. Fraction Run? Yeah, Mad Fraction. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, I really liked it. One, because it had Medusa on it or in it. Um, but I do want to build it. I was thinking of getting like a female head and putting it on my uh, thing, Marvel Legend, so she could pass oh. off as uh, Human Torch's ex girlfriend. Uh, but I don't know if, if there's any head sculpts with pink hair. I do have Ant Man. I do have a Medusa. I'm missing, yeah, I'm missing a She Hulk. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get the uh, red She Hulk. I didn't even know. I'm going to have fun on eBay right after this looking for her. Mm -hmm. So here's a good question. We can take a couple more questions and then I have mm -hmm. to go upstairs and sample my daughter's cake. Ooh, nice. Uh, sorry if this was covered already. What do you think is the best scale of figures? Quarter, one-sixth, or life-size bust? I'm not a fan of the bust scene because half the time, I got to be honest, I find them kind of creepy. Uh, without the arms, I especially yeah. find them weird. If it's just like this with the face, all, I'm like, uh, that's a little bit too creepy for me. Yeah. Uh, so I do prefer... Uh, quarter statues are fun. What, uh, I prefer these 12 inch bombshell size. Yeah. I'm fine with these. And they're also the size of the cover girl, DC cover girl statues. Mm -hmm. I love this size because you can still get a lot of detail on them. And it's not too big either. Right. Red She Hulk, if you want to get it new, it's like 80 bucks right now. But I don't want it new. Ooh, $80. Yeah. There are, it is, you can find it for cheap, uh, loose, but I like to get them new because I don't know who had their hands on it. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Somebody with Hep C or something. Yeah. Greasy Cheeto hands. No, thank you. Yeah. She was part of the Hit Monkey uh, build a figure uh, wave back in, oh. I think that was 12, 2012, I think. She Hulk was? Yeah. The build a figure was Hit Monkey. So it was really tiny uh, Marvel Legends. Who's Hit Monkey? <laughs> this guy. Let me, let me look for a picture of him. Um, Hit Monkey first showed up in <laughs> in, uh, in his own series, Hit Monkey number one, back in 2010, created by Daniel Way. Huh. Uh, and he deserved to build a figure? Apparently. I mean, Hasbro likes to do obscure characters from time to time. So that's right up there, Allie. But just the idea of a monkey in a suit intrigues me uh let's see i got the image right here all right let me share the screen so okay. everybody can oh shoot oh share screen share screen again application window share there it is hit monkey can you see him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got him up on the screen. <laughs> That's Hit Monkey. Yeah. And okay, they're, coming out, they're coming out <laughs> with a new one, too. So I think it's an Amazon exclusive or something with a Deadpool and they're like very 80s looking with the white suits. It's kind of crazy and silly. Okay. Hit Monkey. So they did. They did a, a build a figure back then of that, and one of the figures was uh, Red She Hulk from the uh, Jeff Parker stuff. Oh, okay. I loved that. I thought that mm -hmm. was one of the best books. Was the Red She Hulk? Yep. I don't know. Um, I mean, there is a figure going. There is a Red She Hulk going for like nine bucks from its 
but it's a uh, it's from China, so I don't know if it's a bootleg or not. Oh yeah, be careful. Yep. And that face looks horrible. Wow. For for who? Uh, the Red Shield. From China? Yeah. Let's it's probably going to be full of fentanyl or something. Look at this. It looks like she has a huge mustache. <laughs> what the what? Let me zoom in here. <laughs> oh, she does have a mustache. Oh, that's got to be a bootleg. Oh, boy. I don't mean to be a perv, but she's got like a paint splash right there on her boob. That's not good. That looks awful. Yep. Yeah, don't get knockoffs, kids. One, uh, they could be with uh, some weird paints and you yeah. can smoke some stuff you don't want to smoke. <laughs> Inhale some uh, paint, uh, lead paint. I don't know. If it's from and, China, it's full of fentanyl and it's exactly some drug dealers on his way to your house to get his stash. <laughs> All right, it's getting late here, so I think we can take a couple more questions and then we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, have to, uh, go. I'm getting actually, I'm smelling cake from upstairs, so I want to go upstairs and try it out. I am jealous. What kind of cake? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I can smell it. It's a cake smell that's coming down from mm -hmm. upstairs. Nice. My favorite type of cake, which nobody cares, but my favorite type of kind of cake is a uh, sponge cake. So sponge cake, square pants, good old sponge cake sponge with some cake basic, good. Yeah. Some good or a, uh, tres leches or oh, something yeah. like that. My daughter used to make lots of Trace Leches cakes. They're the best. In, High in sugar. College. Yeah. But they're delicious. <laughs> they are delicious. Okay. Well, we talked about in stock trades. We talked mm -hmm. about action figures and statues and um, spider doors and everything else. So, mm -hmm. uh, we can geek them. Where can we find you if we want to find you? You can find me on my YouTube page, A Week in Geekdom. My name is right there, uh, where I talk about anime, comics, manga, and just pop culture stuff in general. Um, I do want to do some gaming stuff eventually, so I'll add that to the repertoire. Uh, so, yeah, find me at A Week in Geekdom on YouTube. Subscribe if you can. Highlighter, that is not a Yankee candle. My daughter is upstairs making cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you and i'm omnidog and you can find me on youtube on omnidog's vault and on instagram omnidog's underscore vault so thank you to the chat mm -hmm. thank you to our viewers thank you to tyler blunt for sitting in for the first few uh minutes and yes. uh we appreciate that and uh peace and love peace and love uh Thank you all. So long. <laughs>